Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Mind Up is a game I go back and forth on. The production of it's okay. It's not the best looking game in the world. This is something I would play with lighter gamers or children, and it's a little bit of fun. There's some luck in it, it's not perfect, and finding those differences and that memory aspect of it can be fairly strong as you're playing through it. Now, once again, I don't think I'd play this with adults. I think this is something I'd play just with kids. So when I did a previous review of it, I kind of looked at it from the idea of an adult. I think there are better games that I'd rather play than this as a party-style game, of a memory-style game, but with children, it is okay. Now, inevitably, I'm probably going to get rid of this game. I'm going to go ahead and purge it just for the fact that there are other games of this kind of like uh, memory style that I like. Better Coconana was a children's game that I really, really liked. This one can be a little bit overly long when playing with kids because I think it's intended to be played with adults. But I think I just like it better with kids. So there's some other things that better that memory aspect that I enjoyed a little bit more. So Lineup is one that I would probably tell you to try out. See if it fits your style or not. See if you like it. And then you can kind of go from there because it's right in the middle for me. If it had a better production value, I think that I would like it quite a bit more. For me, for now, it's going to be a purge. Here is Line Up, the memory game of quick looks and tricky cook crooks. Open up, you're going to get a memory book here, a little bit of a screen. Here is your instructions, which we'll go over in a few minutes. You're going to get a board, which I'll take a look at. In here, you're going to get a number of these innocent and guilty little things that you'll have here. You're going to have some po generic pawns, a dice, and some of these cards. Let's take a look at these cards. Uh, they're going to have, ooh, no artwork. Take another full turn, play at the end of your turn. These will be the suspects that you're going to have. And they all look a little bit different, if you see. Artwork is repeated quite a bit, but they all have a little bit of changes on them. Like that's what you're kind of looking for. Like what are the changes here? Uh, very, very good artwork I think on that. And then these lucky break cards that you have have uh, no artwork whatsoever, just words on what you're doing. Quality is not great. It's pretty cheap, pretty pretty cheap components to be honest. As for the board itself, it's very colorful. It has kind of like a lineup here with the cops and the scoring on it. it. Looks pretty neat. I actually think the board might be the best component in the game. I think it's very colorful. I like color in my games. It looks very good. Here's a rule book. You get a black and white rule book. A, a list of the components, but no pictures. Nothing is in color here. All black and white. A few pictures that you're going to see here. And then you flip it over. You're going to have a little bit here about the suspect cards. And it's an advanced game and tells you how to win. It's okay. It'll probably take you about five to ten minutes to read this. Not very long. Uh, it could have been a little bit more production into this, I suppose. Turns very easy. You're going to roll the dice and move that number of spaces on the board. Now, to stop at the police station or on one of the suspects, or this one of the businesses, you do not have to have an exact number. So, if I had rolled, let's say, a five on this, I could have moved one, two, three, four and stopped right there. But in this case, I rolled a three. So, since I laid on the lucky break spot, I can draw the top card of the deck. I can have as many of three of these in order to draw. Look at other players' lucky break cards. Keep one for yourself. Play any time. So I can keep this, or I could play it later. Let's see. It says increase another player's lineup count by two. This one says review one of your face-down suspect cards for five seconds before your lineup is set up. Play when you request a lineup. So these will help you break the rules. You can keep them, play them when you want, but you can have a maximum of three. So when you get to a suspect spot, you can stop, and you can take the top card. You're allowed to look at it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Have you memorized that? Okay. And they would flip it over. Then, if you ever get back to the police station a subsequent turn, you can take a look at the lineup. Somebody else at the table will take yours and put it in the stand that says guilty. Now, you won't know which one this is. The other players will. And you'll put that down. Now, the number here will tell you how many cards they're going to take from the suspect line. So I'm going to have four people in the lineup total. They will take these. You can do whatever you want. Make somebody close their eyes, turn around, whatever. And then you will mix these up. I'll take them off screen for your benefit. Mix them up. And I'm going to put them all back. And then we'll take a look at these in just a moment. Then you will take a look at these cards here. I'll put them face up for you. And now you have to decide which one is the one that you had drew. And each one of these are going to be subtly different. As you can tell, these are very, very, very similar. 
If you correctly guess it, which would be this one out of the group, you move your line up, chip, to the next highest one, so you move up here to the five. In the next lineup that you look through, you will have an additional one to look at. Now, if you happen to have another suspect in front of you, see I had already had this one, I could go through and try to do another suspect just like I did like this if I'm successful. Now let's reset, let's say here I was here and I guessed the wrong one, I guessed this one. And that was an innocent one. So I would take all these off. They would go back on the bottom of the deck. And then I would move mine to the next one lower and now I would only have to draw three next time in order to guess who it is. If you're able to correctly guess four of these across the board, you win the game. So if you guess correctly, you would just keep this card off to the side as your scoring mechanism. And if you get four of them, you win. Who should buy this game? I think this game will work for families. I think it'll work for younger gamers and lighter gamers. Now this game has been done many, many times. Unusual Suspects or is it called Usual Suspects? It's one game I think does this really well. It's a little bit different, I, granted, but I think I like that one. It's a little bit cleaner of a production than this one, although it's very similar in a lot of aspects and very different, too. So some people might call me on that, but uh, Lineup is one that I feel like works pretty well. I like it. You know, I've been going back and forth on this one. Um, inevitably, I think it's going to be a purge, but I, it, it's right on the line. And when I would tell you that if you like this style of game, definitely check this one out and try it out even though I think I might go in a different direction. So that's lineup, probably inevitably a purge, but I think there's some gamers who are really going to enjoy this one.